number. So you're probably rounding when you derive the A, you know. So it's usually just better to do tangent. So tangent of theta is uh, 7 over 3, and then take the inverse tangent of that. Okay, so in this chapter, you're going to be in a degree mode. Because usually the angles, we want the angles expressed in uh, degrees. So in this case, we'll be uh, go to mode, go to degree, 10 inverse of 7 divided by 3, 66.80 degrees. Okay, so the general formula is therefore theta is 10 inverse of ay over ax. You see? <clears throat> now there's a, some, sometimes this thing you have to be careful for, and I'll show you illustrations of this. The range of the 10 inverse function the range of the 10 inverse function is what? Negative 90 to, to 90, right? In trig, you learn that. So uh, what's the domain of the uh, ten, 10 inverse function? All real numbers. You could put anything there. Because the tangent of a number ranges from negative infinity to the, uh, positive infinity. So if you take the inverse tangent, you can put in anything there. The, the, the calculator is never going to say undefined when you do tan inverse. But the problem is the range is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So if the vector is really in this quadrant and its angle is greater than pi over 2, is the calculator going to know that? No, right? It will only give you an answer from pi, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So in order to, uh, in order to get the, the angle of a vector in the second quadrant, you're going to have to do something to the answer that the calculator gives you. And I'll show you illustrations now. Uh, I'll show you an illustration of a vector in the second quadrant, a vector in the third quadrant, and a vector in the fourth quadrant. The first quadrant is you don't need to do anything. The first quadrant is itself, OK? So let's do some quick illustration of this. So let's say, actually, we could, we could continue with that same example. 3 and 7, we found the angle is 66, right? So let's continue with that. What if AX is uh, negative 7 and AY is 3? What's the magnitude of vector A and its angle? Well, the magnitude is the same as there, right? That's going to be 49 plus 9 square root of 58. So the magnitude doesn't change based on the quadrant. But the angle changes. So here is what happens. When you do theta is 10 inverse of AY over AX, OK? Uh, so we put over here what? Ay is equal to 3. Sorry, no, I think I uh, switched it here. I should give you Ay is, uh, Ax is uh, negative 3, Ay is 7. Because I want to keep the angle of the vector the same, but just in a different quadrant. That one was AX is 3, A, AY is 7. They were both uh, positive. So it's now going to be uh, 7 over negative 3. And when you take the inverse tangent of that, where you, what are you going to get? Yeah, you're always going to get an answer from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Okay? So negative 66.8. Okay? So what really it's giving you what really it's giving you is it's giving you if this is the vector a it's giving you this angle -66.80 so 
So to get to the actual answer, you can now put the, add the 180 to that. So that's a correction that you have to make in order to get to the right quadrant. So what is that? You see, so that, that's the one thing that you have to do. Just remember which quadrant the vector is in and make a correction for that. Uh, what if AX is uh, negative 3, AY is negative 7? They're both negative. So we know that the vector is like here. Okay, then you do theta is tangent inverse of uh, negative 7 over negative 3. And the two negatives cancel, and you get 66.80. So that the calculator thinks the vector is in the first quadrant. So the, now what it's doing is it's giving you this angle. You see? So... Again, you just uh, add 180 to that. Two forty-six point eight oh. The other one is if it's in the fourth quadrant. AX is 3, AY is negative 7. So okay. The vector is in the fourth quadrant, right? So now again, you do theta is tan engine, tangent inverse, tangent inverse of uh, um, negative 7 over 3. So that gives you the same answer as this one, which is tangent inverse of 7 over negative 3, which you get negative 66.8, which is it's giving you this angle. So it's giving you the right angle. It's in the fourth quadrant, but it's giving you a negative answer. So to get the positive answer, you can add 340 to it. Or the other way you can say is subtract 66.8 from 340. And uh, you would get uh, 2 what? 260. Oh, yeah, sorry, plus 360. Yeah, you're right. You would get uh, 2. 93.2, okay, 293.2 degrees. <clears throat> now, so far, all the uh, examples I've shown you, the angles that I'm expressing are from the positive x-axis, okay, and they're all counterclockwise. Uh, so we saw that if it's in the first quadrant, you don't do anything. If it's in the second quadrant, you're going to end up having to add 180. If it's in the third quadrant, you're going to have to add 180. And if it's in the fourth quadrant, you add uh, 360. Now, the other way of expressing angles, which is a lot of very common uh, in the regular world, is in terms of northwest direction. So let me introduce you to this. A lot of people get this confused. So if I